In most of these videos, I stand up here and reel off five products that are great for some reason or another, but this week, we're gonna step back and look at the big picture. Products come and go, but if you really wanna know what's going on in the tech world, it's all about spotting the trends. So here's a look back at what I personally think were the big tech trends that define 2012. Starting off at number five, virtual assistants. Siri made its debut on the iPhone in October of 2011, but 2012 was the year when all the competitors struck back. Google Now, Samsung S-Voice, Blingo, Robin, we're actually having conversations with our gadgets now, and it's kind of freaking me out that this isn't freaking me out anymore. At number four, convertible laptops and hybrid tablets. With the rollout of Windows 8, we're seeing a whole new crop of laptops that flip around into tablets and tablets that have snap-on keyboards. I can't tell if this is the evolution of the laptop or just an awkward identity crisis, but the idea of a laptop without a touchscreen now is starting to feel a little old school. Coming in at number three, 4G. Now 4G has been with us for a while, but 2012 was the year where it really went mainstream. You almost couldn't buy a smartphone in 2012 that wasn't 4G compatible, especially after the iPhone got on board. 4G is finally becoming the norm, and we've got a nice little window here before everyone starts talking about 5G. At number two, phablets. More than a phone, less than a tablet, and the best indicator of an inferiority complex since the invention of truck nuts. Samsung introduced the 5.3-inch Galaxy Note in February, and then a 5.5-inch Galaxy Note 2 in October. We laughed at first, but this is a thing now. Your smartphone can be as big as your face, and people will just think you're cutting edge. Now, before we get to number one, I'd like to point out a trend that everyone predicted would dominate 2012, but didn't. The cloud. Everything was supposed to be sucked up into the cloud like some kind of tech rapture, but nothing much changed. To be fair, an invisible cloud of data is kind of a hard thing to notice, so maybe we're in the cloud right now. Kind of feels like a cloud. And finally, the number one tech trend of 2012 was seven inch tablets. Now this one was pretty easy to spot from 2011 when Amazon had their Kindle Fire and it became an instant holiday hit. And then Google hit back with a Nexus 7 and then Amazon came back with four other Kindle Fires and then Barnes and Noble stepped up with a Nook. And then of course, the iPad mini. Not only did the seven inch tablet blossom in 2012, but there's a good reason to believe that this might be the dominant tablet size from here on out. So there you go, the five tech trends that I personally think did the most to shape 2012, but that's just scratching the surface. For an exhaustive list of the year's most important developments in tech, take a look at the CNET 100. It's a collaboration from all of CNET's editors. For more top fives like this, head over to top5.cnet.com. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.